everybody, I'm Courtney Crosby and today I'm going to be showing you a little bit of nail prep. So I've been growing my nails for quite a few weeks and I was doing really, really well. But then over the Christmas holidays, I broke this one off entirely and I chipped the side of this one and this one is missing a whole great big section. So I have a bit of work to do. So I'm going to start by prepping my natural nails. I've removed my gel polish that I had on. It was um, the green one with the snowflake and the snowman. It was really cute. So that's gone now. Okay. So let's look at this nail. We've got the proximal nail fold here. What you want to do is just push it back ever so gently. You don't want to push it really hard and you don't want to be applying pressure onto the nail plate when you're pushing it back because that will lift up the cuticle and it will jam the cuticle underneath of the epinicium and we don't want that. So just lightly push it back just so you can get at the cuticle that's on the nail plate that you want to remove. So once you've pushed it back, <clears throat> then you can get your blade. You can see here that is a little piece of cuticle that you want to get rid of. It's much easier to do this when you have a cuticle remover on. It really softens it up. Okay, so what I'm doing now is just taking my cuticle knife and running it along the growth area of my nail and feeling for any waxy bits of cuticle that it's catching on. And when the knife catches on a bit of cuticle, then I apply a little bit more pressure just to pull that piece up and push it off of the nail. You'll know when you've got all your cuticle removed because when you run your knife along the growth area, it will be really smooth and it won't catch on anything. So that's pretty good. I'll check this one. Just push it back gently. that is that. So sometimes when you push back your proximal fold, it will look a bit shit and you want to cut it. So this bit of skin that we're going to cut here is not actually, sorry, I just see more cuticle on my nail that I'm going to get off while I'm here. It's not actually the, the cuticle. This that I'm scraping away right now is the cuticle. That is the proximal nail fold. So you can safely clip that away. For this much, um, I wouldn't generally clip it because when you go back in with your uh, cuticle oil at the end, it will soften it back up. But you can clip it away with a really sharp pair of nippers and that's fine. This one is the same. Might as well make them all match.
So you can see I'm not grabbing onto the skin and pulling it away. I'm just slicing into it and then I'm removing the nippers from that area. So, I'm not going to bother to cut that one. Then, once you've sorted out your cuticles and you're pretty happy with that, you're going to take a brand new buffing block and rough up the surface of the nail. Get into the proximal nail fold get into the side walls you don't want to be pushing really hard literally just a swipe across and get rid of any stray bits of cuticle that didn't come up with your knife So that should be enough prep for the natural nail. If you have a problem lifting client, you can take a brand new file. This is a 100 grit, 180 grit file. When you have problem lifters, you can etch just around the, the outside of where the enhancement is going to be. So use the corner of your file there and just lightly etch into that nail. You don't need to be able to see much of a difference because if you looked at a nail under a microscope, the smallest amount of pressure with a file really changes the surface of the nail. So you can just etch a little bit in there and that will also ensure that you have got all of the cuticle off. And then you are ready to cleanse. So when I'm cleansing the nail, I use a sanitizer, which is essentially just isopropyl alcohol. Um, clean the nail. Get really into the sidewalls, get up into that proximal nail fold and get out any dirt, any dust, any bits of the file or the buffer, the cuticle, you want to get everything out of there. So I really, really get it nice and clean. I already did my thumb. So then you have some really clean nails with no cuticle on the nail plate. The proximal nail fold has been trimmed. This one is looking a bit scraggly. So look at this. Okay. I don't know if you can see from the video. There's a little bit of skin that's hanging from my lateral nail fold. It's hanging over top of the nail plate. When you go and put an extension or gel polish on that, that is going to affect it. So you want to make sure that you have gotten rid of any little bits of skin that are hanging about or else they will cause you problems. You want a completely smooth surface of the nail. And that's better. So we're ready to go. Next I would use some acetone. This is an old bottle that I just fill up with no name acetone. 
Just put some on a wipe. And I dehydrate that nail plate. Get rid of any oils that may have been on the file or that are on my finger or anything else that has touched my nail since I started. So that is how I prepare my natural nails for any kind of enhancement. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss part two of this video. I'll see you next time.